To put it simply, right now we are really in a state of mess to say the least. At this point, there are more loose ends than there really are concrete storylines and the Jailer seems closer than ever to reaching the sepulchre and undoing all creation, whatever that means. Should we just let him do it? Should we just allow him to undo everything? Seriously, this might be the perfect counter to all these problems. Instead of saving the day the million times, Maybe this time we can really lose and these things are just out of our hand like there's nothing we can do and we could venture into a hard reset that could really be a fresh start for World of Warcraft. Check out Gamevo, this video is sponsored where you can get almost any game, DLC, Shadowlands and Human Game Time at discounted prices. Use code Oron for an even larger discount by clicking the link in the description. As most of you are aware by this point, the Jailer has some big plans. The original cosmos was quite a chaotic place with six opposite cosmological forces that existed in strife. Then the seventh force, which seemed like the outsider, swooped in from wherever and enforced order upon the universe. It is unclear at this point how exactly, but we know that the main mechanism of their order were the cycles that they had created. They are sort of like the yin and the yang of the universe. So we have the light and the void cycle for example, and apparently the most important one, the life and death cycle, which essentially binds our mortal realms together with the shadowlands, making it one whole, while it seems like originally that wasn't really a thing, that wasn't how the universe functioned. From the information that we have, we know that Zohal was the original arbiter of the Shadowlands that rebelled against this mechanism and for that reason he was imprisoned. Now what is unclear is whether he existed in this primal state of the cosmos and he was just forced to serve or whether he was the first ones that actually created him. My opinion is that he was similar to the elemental lords on Azeroth, just how they ruled the planet they were the native race, until the old gods came in, defeated them and then just turned them into their own lieutenants. Well, the Arbiter eventually figured out what is going on, that he is in this prison, that we are all trapped in this mechanism and that the only way to break it is to gather the sigils and to reach the sepulchre. Now, I'm not saying his goal was to free us all so that you can live happily ever after, that definitely isn't the case. It is likely that in this primal state, death was attacking life all the time. However, there is a possibility that all the mortals were actually immortals and that they weren't even sent to the Shadowlands. The first ones, in order to figure this conflict out, decided to turn us into mortals and to send us into the Shadowlands to provide anima. This way, we regenerated always new mortals and then doesn't stay hungry, they don't have to go and hunt. Now, of course, this is not confirmed officially by Blizzard, it is just my speculation the way I see it. However, as all of you are aware at this point, the Jailer is mostly successful and he did pretty much everything right. He created all these conflicts, increased his power, broke the artificial arbiter and the machine of death and now all the anima was channeled to his place. Then through extortion, manipulation and blackmail, he acquired the necessary sigils, turned his original form and then ventured into the portal. The portal is implied to be the sepulchre and is more than likely Zeret Mortis, which is known as the forbidden realm of the first ones and is probably in some way related to Azeroth and our planet's soul. Every time until this point and really this point as well, in the lore we had these types of crazy threats. Some were bigger, some were smaller, but they always threatened our very existence to the core. For example, Ledge King wanted to conquer the planet. Deathwing wanted to unleash the old gods and bring the void into Azeroth. Then we got the largest threat ever and that was Geras that literally just wanted to wipe us out and to destroy the soul just stab it, which he only attempted. However, this current threat when compared to others seems to be the direst. Seriously, just try to put it into perspective. Most of the threats wanted to conquer the planet, others wanted to destroy our planet. However, this jailer guy actually wants to change the order of the entire universe, like literally shift the very fabric of reality, changing everything we think of as normal. Realistically, this should have the biggest consequences out of all these threats. Until 9.2, he literally toyed with us and while we won, on many occasions we ultimately failed as he was successful. So could this time actually be different? Could this time we actually lose? And what could this mean? for the universe.
Let's take a look at a quote from Magennis as he returned the 9.1 and revealed to us that he has been working for the Natrius this entire time. For eons, we have done the master's bidding in secret across countless realities. The Legion, the Scourge, Argus, all pawns in a game beyond your grasp. One that now nears its end. Keep your trinket and your realm, their dust in the face of our Cyrus' true ambition, if only you can just obey. Now, you may be confused here, the trinket is the medallion, the realm is Revendreth and he's saying all this stuff to Prince Renatal, however, this has huge implications for all of us, especially that he says the game is now near its end. What he is saying is that Denatrius doesn't really care all that much about Revendreth or doing his little role in this realm of like redeeming souls, but that his true ambition is something much grander. Thus far, all things are pointing at the fact that he is in with the Jailer on this, that he wants to undo the universe as well, he wants to return the cosmos to the original state, and then more than likely he wants to rule. The speculation thus far is that when the cosmos was in the original state, it was really a free-for-all, an all-out war where everyone was battling everyone for supremacy, I'd wager it was so chaotic that only the mechanisms set in place by the first ones could put it under control. So this implies that the consequences are really dire, but what could this mean for the denizens of Azor? Realistically, if we just let the jailer win, I don't mean literally, as you know, we can't really choose whether we want to win or not, but if he's the first villain ever to actually win, this might perfectly set up the ground for a ton of future content and a great reset of everything. Seriously, what if the Jailer breaks away the mechanism in some way through our world soul and now we return to the original cosmological war, the original chaos and now we are left in the dark. Then we the forces of life now have to battle against everyone in the cosmos. This could seriously set everything up perfectly for like a decade of future content. If the soul of our world awakens or something happens, we could return to Azeroth. This could lead into us fighting the light, it could lead into us fighting the void and we could play a huge role in the cosmological war. Unfortunately though, something like this could spiral into even more cosmological god battles that we are already a part of, turning us into titan level importance characters, but there is another way it could be done. It is possible that the great reset could be just like a memory wipe. The Jader just hits the reset button, he disconnects the mortal plane from the Shadowlands and boop, we're back into our world, we forget everything and now we are just on Azure. We could go back into normal activities while the Jailer is, you know, just going rampant without an interference. Then an expansion or two later on, the consequences of this reset could return as we are dragged into the grand cosmological war number two. I am aware of how outlandish all this stuff sounds, but come on, wouldn't it be a better alternative than us just, you know, beating this Jailer bad guy in one patch and just saving the entire universe? Thank you for watching, check out Could the Dreadlords be the next playable race by clicking on the screen and also check Donuts Academy for videos on real world history and science. See you next time.